What is going on Earth 2 novice enthusiasts and everyone in between and especially you Easter egg hunters You guys are probably in the midst of your Easter egg hunts or looking to get started uh, It's obviously been going on for a few hours. It is 10 o'clock So it's been going on for about four hours I think I did about a little over two hours with my live stream and uh, thank you guys for tuning in for that That was a lot of fun sharing ideas and where to look and what all was going on and keeping each other informed um, and then I stopped to get something to eat and I went right back to it. Now, I wanted to give you guys some tips as far as how to help yourselves find some of these eggs. And uh, I, I did want to first preface this by saying this is it, it's it's against the rules for you to tell people where to find the eggs. And that's just to keep everything fair. So I hope I don't get disqualified from my submissions because I have submitted uh, a lot of eggs, um, or at least what I think are eggs. There's two of them I know for a fact are eggs. I saw E2 on the actual egg. Two more that I'm pretty sure are eggs, but they're just so far off in the distance and so small that I don't know for certain if they're eggs or not. I wouldn't be shocked if I was told that they aren't eggs. And then there's probably a dozen or so altogether, maybe more that, um, again, aside from those two, the other dozen or so are maybe probably wouldn't be super surprised, but there's four I'm pretty sure about, two I know 100%, and uh, I, again, I wanted to just give you guys some tips as to how you guys can get your hands, your, your virtual hands on these eggs, and I, again, I'm risking getting disqualified, so please, if you find this beneficial, subscribe, turn on those alerts, make sure you fill out that contact form below contact form enters you in for a raffle for me to use your referral code win some free land if you're a noob and you use my code the first time you purchase some land uh, you'll be in another noob referral raffle where or, uh, land raffle where you get to choose some like pristine land um, but in any case my first my first tip and I've got a list of tips here first tip is get off of your phone and get onto a computer if you can get on something with a bigger screen because these things are tiny Shane even said they are very small and they are very, very hard to find. If you've got a small screen, if you're doing this on your phone, uh, bless you. I don't think you're going to be able to find them. Don't want to dishearten anybody, um, but you're probably going to have an immense difficulty finding them. You want a big screen. You want high def. You want high res. Um, the next tip would be once you're on that computer, hopefully you can hook up to a landline and actually have like a hard wire. That's what I did. I actually have a connector and I have an adapter and an ether, uh, this was it a cat six cable that I bought just for the UAE release because my uh, MacBook pro doesn't have an ethernet connector to it. So I bought this adapter just for, uh, just so I'd have an ethernet port. And then I use the cable. I did it for this because I want this video to be as crisp as possible. Before I get ahead of myself, let me tell you what we're doing here. It's not on the Earth 2 map. It is in the video. I'm going to have a link to the video below. It's uh, Earth 2 released on their YouTube a video. And within that video, the Easter eggs are going to be hidden in there. Five Easter eggs total. That doesn't mean that there's only going to be five winners. There's going to be 250 winners because each of those five eggs can be reported 50 times. So 50 times five, 250. The first person to submit each of the five gets the grand prize. But each subsequent submitter up to 50 will also get one of the uh, e-dollar prizes. I don't want to say cash prize, but you get the money benefit or the e-dollar prize and it's probably a lesser amount. I don't know exactly what it is yet. I haven't stopped to look, um, but it's a, it's a lesser prize, kind of a you know runner's up kind of thing. And I believe everyone's getting an NFT. So there will be 250 NFTs going out and prizes, e-dollar prizes for everybody, but the grand prizes will be the first five. Now, according to Shane's most recent tweet that I've seen about this, which was a couple hours ago, three of them have been found. They have confirmed three have been found. That doesn't mean that the other five, the other two haven't been found, but just as far as that most recent tweet where he mentioned it, three were found, but again, there's still 50 people for each one of those. So 150 people uh, potentially, if that many have been turned in. Now, how are you gonna turn them in? You take a screenshot, then you write your name on the screenshot with your phone or, or your computer or whatever, and then you will uh, submit it, post it online, uh, either Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Earth2EasterEggHunt. 
or maybe it's earth to egg hunt i will tell you the correct hashtag in the notes below now in the video they're hidden throughout the video and at the end of the video they give you the official rules one of which is you can't tell people how to find the eggs unless they've all been found already which there's no, no, not really a point at that point, right? No one's looking for them anymore. So again, I might be breaking the rules, but let me, let me give you some more tips. Um, get off, so get off your phone, get on a, a bigger screen, even if it's going to a tablet, something bigger than your phone, it'll help you out dramatically. Get off Wi-Fi, get a faster connection, because the next tip is gonna be, get this bad boy in 4K. If you don't know how to get it to 4K, you go down into the settings uh, tab in your, um, let, let me actually make sure this is in 4K. Yeah, this is in 4K. All right, make sure that uh, you go down to the settings tab in the bottom of the YouTube video, the gear, and flip it to 4K or the highest resolution. Maybe you don't have the ability to put it in 4K, get it to 1080 or something like that because these things are small, they are very hard to find, they are, they are very, very, very well hidden. And you will need the highest definition possible, the biggest, defin the biggest screen possible, and uh, that will help you out dramatically. Then what you're gonna wanna do is also, again, going down into that gear, slow it down you can go as slow as one quarter the normal speed shane says go frame by frame um, so the next tip has to do with that if you're on your computer you can use the space button the space bar to hit pause it basically asks, acts as pause and play so literally what i'm doing is i'm just see click 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 so that's how I'm, I'm getting through. And as you can see, you got a lot of real estate to look at. What I do is I divide it in quadrants. So I will cut it, where's the middle? I'll cut it right down the middle, cut it right across here, and I'll scan this area. Then I'll scan over here, go all the way down, and then scan over here. If you're trying to do the whole thing, it's just not as good. Scan, scan, scan. And then a little bit further. It like literally frame by frame because when they are in the shot, it is, again, they're small and it is fleeting. They are not in focus. Like they're not like a, a main subject in the screen. They do not attract your eye. So do your best to diligently scan through. Let's get this playing in the background while we're at it. So I'll, I'll give you an idea. And uh, another, another one of the tips. Now this entire, the entire video is a little over three minutes long. The, let's see how long it really is. It is, so it's about, uh, it's about five minutes total with a two minute countdown. The countdown ends two minutes into it. So it's literally like a three minute video. And as you'll see, here, I'll show you the end of the countdown. So this is, again, this is gonna be slowed down to one quarter the normal speed. Let me kill the sound. Um, so, the math works out like this. We've got about three minutes of total, like looking at Earth 2 time. We've got five different eggs. Now, I don't know this 100% for certain because like I said, I've only seen two eggs, but my original theory was these things were gonna be spaced out. Probably not gonna have two eggs on the screen at the same time. Probably not gonna have two eggs close to each other, like just one after the other appearing on the screen, right? They're probably gonna split it up a bit. Here, I'll skip forward through all this. Um, so now we're now we're zooming into Earth. And again, I, I've got this going slow. But right now we're at, uh, we've got two minutes and 30, or two minutes and like 41 seconds right now. So now we're already down to two minutes and 41 seconds of actually watching Earth 2. There's also, and if you notice, we're so far from the Earth, you can't see an egg. So all of this time so far is pretty much dead time, let's consider. Like, I don't think there's an egg in any of this shot, right? So since that, that high altitude shot, these high altitude shots are at the beginning and they're at the end, odds are probably not going to find eggs right there, right? Just, just guessing. I might be wrong, but just guessing. So that really means that we've only got about two minutes of actual probable gonna see an egg time. So now we gotta divide that by five. So we're probably looking at spaces between the eggs of like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 
maybe 40 seconds if they're like trying to throw us off and not make it too regular. So if you do find one egg, I wouldn't be looking within the next few seconds to see another egg. Again, I might be wrong, but just using common sense, thinking about how I would spread them out, I would spread them out unevenly, but I would basically divide the amount of time that they could potentially be there and probably play with it, where I'd move this one up five to 10 seconds and then move this one back five to 10 seconds. So like maybe it's 20 seconds in between these two and then it's 35 seconds in between the next one and then, you know, 21 seconds, something like that. So I'd split split it up like that. So again, if you see one, probably not going to see a second one on the screen. Uh, now, I would love to tell you that you'll be able to tell without a shadow of a doubt that it's an egg. But so far, I've only seen two that had the E2 logo on them. Those I know for certain are eggs. The other dozen or so wouldn't be surprised if they're not eggs, but I'm pretty pretty confident that they're worth at least submitting and I could not see an Earth 2 logo on those, obviously. Shane said that they're small, but I believe the eggs are actually different sizes because there's some, like the ones where, the ones that you can see the Earth 2 logo on, even those look like they're different sizes. One appears like closer to the viewer perspective, the point of view perspective, one seems closer, so that one's smaller. One seems a bit further, so that one is probably like, if it, if it was real life and I held them side by side, I think that other one's a bit larger two I'm positive about there's two more I'm pretty confident are eggs just because they, they kind of they don't it's not that they stick out from their environment but they're a slightly more obvious and not um, part of a repetitive or similar pattern seen anywhere else but those are further back but again if they were real life one would be like I don't know maybe the size of a car but it's so far away that it is very small on the screen in fact it's smaller than the other two which I, again, like one is probably like, let's say this big in real life. The other one's the size of a car, but it's so far out that it looks way smaller on the screen. You know what I'm saying? So these are small. They are well hidden. Uh, another tip is uh, for the most part, the ones that I think are eggs blend in to their environment uh, with the exception of some that would be far off. Since they're far off, it's like you could play with the rules. If they're close to you, they're going to be blended in and relatively smaller or well, i guess relatively larger whereas in real life if they're further away the eggs themselves will be bigger or, or perceived it, they'll be smaller on the screen but they'll be bigger in what would be real life and if they're far enough away they could uh, blend less with their environment so it won't be like green on green or white on white um, and it, it, the ones that aren't the same color, they're also going to be very well camouflaged. So I know that doesn't help out immensely. Again, I can't tell you like at what frame to look for these things or exactly where they're located. But uh, another tip that I have is, I don't think this is against the rules because this is common sense. You can just look up the hashtags. If you look up the hashtags on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter, you will see other people's submissions and it'll give you an idea as far as what to look for, maybe when and where to look for them. And you'll see what I mean where, it, oh wow, that's like green on green and I can kind of see that, but man, in this video, what I'll also say is the areas where the camera moves slowly, I haven't seen any eggs. I haven't seen anything that really makes me feel like there's an egg. I feel like the eggs are all in the faster movement sections where it's ripping through. Like the two that I know had the Earth 2 logo on them, the camera's like blowing right by. One of them, it's like booking right through, even slowed down. It books right through it and it was pretty difficult to find. Without 4K on, it, I didn't even see it. It was like a blur. I put it on 4K. Again, I was streaming for like two hours and we were having trouble finding them. I had some that I was like, ah, I think that might be, they're like the dozen that I, I was like, yeah, they, those might be eggs, but probably not. And it wasn't until after I stopped streaming and I was able to go on 4K and then I was able to see way, 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 way better. And I uh, was also wasn't distracted bouncing back and forth with the comments, but I had a great time on, on live. I, I love the, the, the chatter back and forth and I'm happy to do it again when we do this again, because there will be more Earth 2 Easter egg hunts. This is something Shane said. Uh, we all saw the poster of 20 different eggs. We've only got five that have been released. So we could assume that there will be some more Easter egg hunts. When? I'm not sure. But we know Shane said he wants to do more. This was only going to be the first. We know there's 20 on the poster, only five 
we're in this video so we know we're going to do more and um, we have that to look forward to so now ne next time we do it it might be different from what I've seen it seems like they like to introduce novelty so I would assume that it won't be another one of these videos I assume it'll be something to keep us on our toes and eventually they will be I'm, I'm positive they will be doing a VR AR component where we can actually get on the train but that probably won't be until uh, phase three when we're getting on the train in the actual game but uh, speaking of phases, I think phase two is coming right around the corner. I think if you've noticed about every week, we've been having some other awesome announcement or some other development, something else rolling out, another feature, the uh, credit card withdrawals, Dubai was about a week before that. We also had uh, the 5CA. Uh, it's been busy. It's been really busy. Lots of developments. So I think I wouldn't be surprised if phase two is within the next week. Complete speculation. Don't quote me on that, but... I think they intended to do it in March. I think Dubai pushed everything back, all that issue. They had to have some other stuff done. But I think uh, Phase 2 will be coming pretty soon here. Uh, what else? Uh, divide into quadrants, about 20 to 30 seconds apart. Um, if it's got the Earth 2 logo on it, I think it goes without saying that you know it's going to be a real legit egg. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of them are probably going to be in the same colors. And um, keep an eye. Another thing I was doing is I kept on looking back at the poster of the eggs. While it might not help when something's in shadows, because that'll throw off the color pattern and everything a bit, and it'll put lines in it where they're normally it would just be a solid color. It does help to kind of get an idea as to what colors you're playing with. Not going to be looking for anything pink, right? But there are a, a myriad of different colors that they could be playing and putting these eggs into. Um, I'll tell you that some of the ones I've seen. I've seen hypothetical eggs in all sorts of colors. I've uh, definitely found a red one. I definitely found a, I don't know if it was white or silver because again, the shadow uh, kind of threw it off. Uh, another one of the top four that I'm pretty confident in is blue. Another one is white. Um, I've seen people posting the green ones and all sorts of different colors. So refer to the list and uh, that'll help you out. The, the rules to the game are at the end which is what we're going to be seeing now. As you can see, this is towards the end. I think this takes up about 20 seconds of video time. And as you can see, you're probably not going to see any eggs from up here. So we could assume that the bookends of the video before and after probably aren't going to have eggs. Might be wrong. Maybe there's a little speck right there and that's an egg. But uh, also, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to make it a little bit more obvious. Like I said, there, there's somewhere I just... I'm pretty certain they're eggs, but without seeing that Earth 2 logo can't be certain but i i think if it's super super questionable probably not an egg probably a bush or a tree or a rock or it you know something but um here's i'll let you guys again i'll have a link to the video so instead of reading this to you you guys go read it uh best of luck get out there get hunting and uh i'll wa watch you'll see the uh the rules pop up here i think there's like six rules but again to claim Screenshot, write your name, and Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram are where you're going to be claiming them. And again, don't put down what time, what frame, or anything like that, because that'll be an automatic disqualification. Make sure that that's not included in your picture. Like if you do a screenshot and it's got like the minute and second where it was paused, probably not going to make them very happy. Probably automatic disqualifier. Um, as you can see in this example here, this is what I was expecting. Darn it. This is what I was expecting. See how well-defined it is? I didn't find this egg. I don't know if this is a legit egg that's out there or if this is just an example. I'm going to go with the latter because I don't think they would show you an actual egg that was hidden there. But maybe we're going to see this guy later on. And we're going to be like, that was the example from the first egg hunt. But uh, in any case, you guys, get going. Best of luck. If you find an egg, let me know. Uh, if you want to sell the egg, let me know. Maybe you're not one of the first ones to find an egg, but you get the, uh, you know, the, the NFT. I'll, I'll uh, gladly buy the NFT off of you for the right price and make you feel a little bit better about miss, miss, bleh, missing out on the grand prize. But um, yeah, like, subscribe. Appreciate the fact that I might be get, getting disqualified for sharing this with you guys. Fill out that contact form. And uh, thank you guys so much, especially those of you who caught the live stream. It was awesome, and I can't wait to do another one. I've been having so much fun with these live streams. If you guys want to be in on the live streams, turn on the, or turn on the alerts. Make sure you're subscribed, and that way you won't miss out on any of my videos. Be good.